I would describe Cheryl Blossom as a complicated, complex, interesting, um, challenging individual to play, and a fiery little demon. Chums. Cheryl is challenging to play because you never know what you're gonna get with each script that you get. It's like a roller coaster ride, which is great for an actor. My favorite part about playing Cheryl would have to be the twists and turns and finding a way to ground all of that within what we're doing, such an overarched, high reality state that we're in all the time. To find ways to ground it is challenging and exciting to me as an artist. And then sometimes to not ground it and to lean into the drama and the camp of it all. Have you ever experienced the loss of a loved one? Yeah, my brother Jason. When he passed, did you find yourself able to grieve? Honestly, there's so much I don't remember. I was in a dark place. Elucidate that for me. Jason was my twin. And when I lost him, I lost a piece of myself. I think my least favorite times are when Cheryl doesn't feel like herself because there's no matter what she's doing there's always an, a sense of sass and that's just who she is and I think there are times where we like forget that and we lose that really funny witty com comedic lines that she gets and I think when we find those moments in the kind of hardship that she's faced with it's funnier and more interesting to play. Um, I definitely look for scenes where she's calling somebody a hobo or <laughs> um, throwing some insult in the middle of the line and like completely glazing over it. I think it's so funny and it's so Cheryl. But let me help you help Polly. You think Polly's crazy? I do. I think she's crazier than a serial killer on bath salts, but so what? I think she's crazier than a serial killer on bath salts. I love that line. And I said it so casually too. I looked back at it and I was like, that's so funny. Um, Cheryl would say, I think she's crazier than a serial killer on bath salts, but... So you stuttering sap heads are too dim to exercise your own rights, and you've got the combined vocabulary of a baked potato. Ah, you've got the vocabulary of a baked potato. That is one of my favorite insults Cheryl's ever done. But it's more like this, you've got the vocabulary of a baked potato. Or as Lily likes to say, a baked potato. I put the emphasis on the wrong word according to her. Uh, season 6 picks up kind of right where Season 5 leaves off. It's uh, definitely Cheryl exploring the more magical sides of the world. You catch my drift? Uh, she's definitely leading into that, learning more about her past and where she came from and her ancestors, which is very interesting. There's actually an episode dedicated to Cheryl's ancestral lineage, which I really enjoyed doing. And uh, the first five episodes of the season are really, they take place in River Vale, which is an alternate universe, a parallel universe to Riverdale, where a lot of things are the same and a lot of things are very different. So it's super fun, we lean into that. It's everything you could want in a bonker show like Riverdale, but in River Vale. Hmm, I think I'm most excited for people to see the crazy twist at the end of episode one. It's nuts. I didn't even see it coming. And then I think because it's my episode, I'm very excited for people to see episode four because I had the best time working on it. We worked the craziest hours and it was so worth it because I feel like it was the funnest time. Being on a show like Riverdale is obviously every actor's dream, or at least I would assume most actors' dreams that are on TV. Like I think it's pretty rare for a show to go to season three, let alone season six. We just hit our 100th episode mark, which is such a huge honor in the TV land, and I'm very aware that it is very rare, and I feel very lucky, especially because I work with my best friends, which is also very rare. So I'm very thankful for the experience that I've had. Um, I really enjoy it still, which I think is also rare, and my character still surprises me, which is fun as an actor. And I'm also looking forward to the, you know, the next chapters of our lives together and to see what everyone else does. But it's been, it's a lot to be on a show that people watch because people want to know about your life and, and that's been a challenge to learn how to navigate that but I think I figured it out and I can find like the fun in it and enjoy it because why do it if you don't enjoy it? <laughs>